Well, look, with five minutes um, to present, there's very little ground to cover. So I thought I'll just take you on a journey instead. I'm showing you a map um, of Afghanistan with a satellite image base map. And of course, Afghanistan is so prominent in the news today. I thought I'd start here. Our mission is to improve the lives of the world's most vulnerable people through innovative world-class geospatial solutions. And so we use space data, uh, data that we gather on the ground, smash that together into a geospatial environment and really look at um, the drivers of change, um, of why people behave in the way they are, what their needs are and how we can respond to them. Now, you'll appreciate as technology and data availability increases all the time, um, we need to draw on academic communities and institutions like yourselves to help us do our business better. So ALSIS has collaborated with over 12 different universities, uh, eight in the UK, um, two in the US, two in uh, Latin America, to try and work with academics um, to develop really innovative solutions. And I'll give you an example of, of one. But in terms of our current staff, um, we, we take um, graduate degrees very seriously. We need that level of, um, of intellectual rigor that graduates come to us with to be able to question the um, understanding, question the groupthink, and, and create really in innovative solutions, groundbreaking solutions. Uh, to help those people working in the countries that we're engaging in. So if we go into Afghanistan as we're looking here now, and if we go to the southwest corner here, which is on the border with Iran, go into this little area of agriculture here, if I zoom in, um, we, we get to this uh, sort of riverbed here, which is quite curious because as I zoom in, you can see that what we've got here is we've got a bunch of buildings, we've got some buildings here, we've got some cars, we've got some trading, and then we've got this. And this is sort of the ability to now spot the unusual from the usual. And what this is, is an open area that they use to trade ephedra. It's a plant, and they use that plant to make methamphetamine, which over the last three years has become an exploding business inside Afghanistan. Um, which is generating large amounts of revenue for the different armed groups who control this space. And in fact, this is the meth lab here. And if I just come up here, uh, there's was a meth lab here, there was a meth lab here, but the military blew them up. So all within the space of just a few hundred meters of each other, you've got an extraordinary array of different activities going on there. And oh, I'm reminded these black squares here are solar panels, which are driving water up from the um, uh, groundwater to irrigate that agriculture that you can see in a desert space. So although these areas of these desert spaces are often ignored, you can see within just this small little area, there's a lot going on. So what do we need? We need innovation in the technical areas to help us extract features from imagery at scale, at speed. We need to integrate imagery at different resolutions. So that's 50 centimeters, but what could we do with 70 or one meter? And how do we integrate those? And then how do we stitch this together to tell a story of change over time? And then on the social science research side of things, over the thematics, we need to be able to pull out some of those stories because I've already shown you here, we've got tech adoption, we've got agricultural expansion, we've got infrastructure development, we've got um, livelihoods, multiple um, livelihood activities. So what are the indicators of those? What are the proxy indicators for those? And what can we get from space data um, to measure against those? And we talked about change over time um, for storytelling. We also need change over time for impact measurements. And so there are various methods that are being developed to use space data to help for this. And then how do we integrate what we can gather from the ground when people go and ask people 
why are you doing what you're doing with what we can see from space? How can we integrate the qualitative information from the ground with the what that we can observe from space so that we can really try and um, bring that understanding together and then use this data to communicate that to decision makers. And ultimately, if they can all make better decisions in places like this, we'll get better outcomes. I'll leave it there.